Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking about more team of the season panic today as we got the outline revealed of the car design. This is not how the car is actually going to look, okay? There's going to be something else going on in the middle, but they, they showed us today the outline of the car design, which is cool, I guess. Um, hopefully the rest of the car design is dope. I mean, that's really key to a good promo is starting off strong with a good car design, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. We are here to talk about the panic selling and the content uh, with the market right now. The market is still dying. Uh, it's still going down, but we had some crazy, insane market movements today with some of these cards. And I want to show you what happened today, talk about it, offer my explanation, and also start to talk about when can you buy? Because we're in that period now where stuff has been panic sold, it's getting low, and we're going to be getting towards that buy period really, really soon. And what we're doing right now is uh, we're looking for the specific buy time where we can maybe catch a card on a 10% downswing and then just make that much more profit in the future or just get that much better of a price. Uh, but in the, in the general scheme of things, as long as they keep the team of the season cards in rewards um, this year, in like the elite rewards and in reds, but most specifically in the elite rewards, uh, the market's going to fly during team of the season because of all that coin supply coming onto the game. So we'll talk about that a little bit today again, because that is so key for team of the season to get that supply on the game and to get those coins on the market. But Mbappe right here, my man, right? The man Mbappe today went from 486,000 coins Friday night down to 350 on the PlayStation and then rebounded right back up to 440. Um, at like literally an hour after that. This is one of the most insane things I've ever seen happen on the FIFA market. This crash and then rebound uh, today, which a lot of people are pointing fingers at EA and pointing fingers at Patreons and saying, you guys did this. Uh, but to be honest, if you bought down here, this was great market awareness because those prices, literally, he went from he went down 100,000 coins in a, in a three hour time span. Uh, when the card was already down like 100K-ish, I think. Uh, that's crazy. That is honestly insane. Yes, there's going to be panic selling for this promo, but that is honestly just too much. I was not on for this panic earlier today, which I know a lot of you guys are seeing now in flipping graphs. Some of you guys bought cards today. I had some people send me uh, screenshots of the prices that they got on cards today. Unbelievable, right? I think that this was like the absolute, absolute low for a lot of these cards on FIFA especially if it's an out of packs special card, right? A previous uh, promo team card. I think this was the low point. Like this was going to be the lowest point. And then from here on out, uh, it's just, it might go a little bit lower from where it's at right now, uh, but then it's going to go up as we get into team of the season. So if you missed this buy time today, like me, I didn't buy anything today because I just wasn't around for it. This was like morning, my time. I wasn't awake for it and I was busy all day anyway. So I would have missed this regardless. But, um, Right now, what we're trying to do is just look at this market, right? We're looking at this market and we're trying to trying to get that optimal, optimal buy time. Because a lot of you guys want to know when do I need to buy? And I'm going to be looking at doing some research today with you guys on this video, looking at some graphs and showing you prices last year and what happened with a lot of special cards and meta cards um, during team of the season with the coin injection and the market really going higher later in the team of the season. I want to show you that it's technically right now, uh, in the general time span of this market in the next like month time span right now is looking like a fantastic time to buy these cards and to get your, sing some coins into out of pack special cards that are very meta that people are going to use during and post team of the season because of Again, the market inflation that's going to happen at that time. So I'm going to show you a couple cards from FIFA 19 and their rebounds and what happened. Now, remind me, or I will remind you, these are some really meta and popular cards. Big name players. Mbappe last year, huge name player, right? This is what I went to Mbappe last year. You can see here, last year, team of the season started. Uh, team of the season started on May 10th with Community Tots. Mbappe hit his absolute lowest on the Thursday, right? The Thursday and Friday, right before team of the season was announced, but we had a gradual drop. We This guy was dropping like literally since he went out of packs in April, the beginning of April, 
this guy started dropping. And last year, the, the, the panic sell for team of the season was more gradual and more uh, over time, over a month's time. Whereas this year, it's literally in the blink of an eye. Uh, since Friday, cards are down insane amounts and it's just really, 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 really fast. That's what like the panic selling is happening this year. But again, look what happened with this Mbappe. He went down Thursday, Friday, the, the days right before uh, the promo started, 820K on the PlayStation 4. And then he started to rise back up. Literally the week after that, he's up 100,000 coins. Premier League Tots comes out and the man just absolutely booms back up to 1.15 mil. So he goes up basically over 300,000 coins in the span of three weeks or four weeks. Uh, and and you, that buy time was down here. And basically what all of these graphs look like is I'll get my cursor out of the way so you can see that that dip and then the rebound, right? This is how almost all of these graphs look like. Team of the year, Conte. He dips down into April, is at his lowest during that week, the right before team of the season most consistent, and then is rising up into the rest of Todd's promo. It goes from 1.6 mil to 1.9 mil on the PlayStation. And then this is a crazy, crazy, insane rise with Mbappe team of the year down right at the promo start at his lowest at 2.8 mil. And then absolutely booming after Premier League team of the season, booming up to 4.5 million coins. The guy literally went up almost 2 mil um, on both consoles last year because this card was so hyped, so desired and so used by people in this game. Is that going to happen this year? Again, yes, I think it is because the market's going to rebound after team of the season regardless, but the amount of the market rebound is uh, contingent upon these foot champions rewards. And I've been mentioning this and a few people talk about it, but I want to drive this home because this is really going to depend. Uh, this is really going to show what the rewards are going to be. Basically, you can look in here for weekend league reward details. You can look two weeks ahead. Uh, or one week ahead, you go to the schedule and then you can click on the next week's foot champions. Soon enough, next week, we hopefully, I don't know if they're going to do this for team of the season most consistent. Uh, they didn't last year, but for team of the season, Premier League, what they did was they added team of the season uh, pack rewards. So instead of getting your reds with team of the week players, you got reds that were team of the seasons, right? And instead of getting elite packs that were with team of the week players, you got team of the seasons. Now, I don't know if EA realized what they were doing last year when they did this because people were making five, six, seven, eight million coins from rewards, getting elite one and packing Sun, Aubameyang, and like Bernardo Silva in their rewards. And like guys were making millions and millions of coins at rewards. And that pushed especially the high tier market. Like we saw with that Mbappe team of the year from last year, pushed it up insanely just because the amount of coins that were out there. So again, this year, as you guys are looking to buy your teams, which right now, today on Sunday, I'm looking for a possible getting close to being a buy time, right? A lot of people are talking about, it's probably gonna drop Sunday into Wednesday and it's gonna be its lowest on Wednesday before rewards, before team is season most consistent. Last year, and the way that this market looks at the moment and the way that I'm seeing things, I think that you want to buy earlier rather than later, especially if it's for an out of packs card, right? Let's talk about an out of packs card that I think is going to do very well. Jonathan Icone, center attack in mid French. How much is this guy? 200. He's probably less than this now. I'm probably way out of way out of price here with this Icone. He's probably dropped a lot. Yeah, he's 200,000 coins. He hasn't, he hasn't actually dropped that much. He hasn't dropped. I mean, this guy was like, uh, he was like, 280 at one point, but you know, 80K down. I mean, that's a pretty big drop. But anyways, this is the type of guy, or maybe even go, we go more meta. Let's talk about a Ben Yedder, right? A lot of you guys want to know when do I buy Ben Yedder, whether it's his shapeshifter card, whether it's his ones to watch, or whether it's one of his informs. This is one of the most meta cards. This is a very end game card. A lot of people are going to try to use. Of course, people are going to try to use that ones to watch as well. I want to look at that one right now. Because I believe he's like 360,000 coins. Um, a lot of this stuff, boys, to be honest with you, uh, you're going to want to buy, I think, in the next 24 hours. I really think you are because I want you to get the best price possible. I think there could be some more panic selling today on Sunday. And it's really going to it's really gonna matter on a card-by-card -card basis, right? So let's look at this Ben Yedder on Footbin right now. Let's go over to Footbin and look at this, uh, this Ben Yedder. I clicked on the wrong one. Wants to watch. Okay. 
Let's look at once to watch Ben Yedder. It's really going to depend on a card by card basis because these cards, you know, right now their prices are ebbing and flowing based on how many people are trying to sell them based on how many people are finishing the weekend league. That right now is what is making prices drop. There are way more people, at least on Sunday in this game, that are done with weekend league or they sold their team already. And now they're sitting there with their coins wanting to do something, right? They're just sitting there with their coins wanting to do something. Now, Ben Yedder was 300,000 coins under that today in the crazy sell. Um, but look, he went back to 389 after being 294 in this crazy whatever happened earlier today. 389 to 258. And then he's back up to 280 at one point. And then right now he's 375. I'm saying 200 instead of 300. My bad. 350 to 380. I want you guys to be looking for, and this is where I talked about in yesterday's video, I talked about planning, right? I talked about planning because I want you guys to be have a plan set. If you want this guy for your team, if you sold him and you want to buy him back and you're going to buy him back at a cheaper price, again, I want you guys to have that team plan set up so that you know what cards you're going to buy and watch those card prices as much as you can in these next two days. Watch these card prices as much as you can today, honestly, on Sunday. Watch and see if we have another one of those big drops this morning, uh, midday UK time, early morning US. If you see one of those, uh, then that would be a, a fantastic opportunity to go in because from here on out, I don't know if stuff is going to take a significant drop lower. I feel like it's, it's going to maintain its price a decent amount and trickle upwards, especially if it's an out of packs card this week. And then it's going to be after team of season most consistent comes with lightning rounds and coins coming on this game. It's going to start going back up because people are going to start buying cards and playing this game again. And especially this weekend, uh, this upcoming weekend with weekend league, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be playing for team of the seasons and reds if EA is doing that again. And that's going to be a big, big weekend league for a lot of people. Shoot, I'm probably even going to play weekend league. So there's an example of Ben Yedder. Uh, Mbappe, kind of the same thing, right? This guy was 350,000 coins this morning. He was just 414K like a couple minutes ago before I started looking on this video. Now he's 422, right? If you guys want to buy some of these cards, set your target price, use the footprint graphs and just watch their downturn because it's going to, it's going to fluctuate, right? It's going to fluctuate 10, 20, 30,000 coins, depending on the card. Um, you know, foot birthdays, these guys were super stupid low today. Griezmann, I think right now is like a 116 or 117. This guy was 900 K earlier today, right? Are we ever going to see that price again? I don't think so. Could you see him at 1.1 mil? Absolutely. I think you could see him at 1.1 mil or under possibly today. But for some of you guys that really want to buy teams and your main point out of team of the season is buying a team back. I think you want to do that on today, Sunday. Maybe you look into Sunday night into Monday, but by the time we get to Tuesday and Wednesday, there's going to be nothing to do on this game. And people are just going to start buying cards because it's low, right? And if you don't think it's going to be that low, uh, Sunday. And if you think it's going to drop more either during community tots or for some other reason, you think it's going to drop then I don't think it will. But if you think so, um, if you look at the whole, like, again, if we look at a special card again from, from FIFA 19, uh, let's go FIFA 19. Let's look at some of these team of the team of the weeks, right? Future stars from FIFA 19. When did some of these star cards start to rise? Let's look at Havertz. Havertz's future stars last year had a massive rebound during team of the season. I do remember, right? So we're looking for May. Boom. Thursday, May comes out. Now, there is a little bit of stuff that you have to worry about with the possibility of another card getting into uh, getting a higher rated version, right? Boom. So we have Havertz right here. He's cheapest at 316. He goes back to 338 for the weekend league. Goes down to 316 again. Boom. Back to 331. Major panic sell because he gets a team of the season card, but then a major rebound. So that wasn't actually the best example. Let's go with Sancho, right? Let's go with Sancho. I think this was one that, that bounced and that maintained its price as well. Um, boom, here we go. May 7th, right? Team of the year starts May 10th. Guy is 435K on May 9th. Bundesliga team of the season isn't until here. He goes up to 570, but... As you can see, he's gradually rising as more coins are put onto the market as we go through team of the season. And I think that's what is going to happen with a lot of these cards and a lot of the past out of pack specials. I'm telling you guys, some of these shapeshifters, you saw how rare these cards got earlier this year. 
If you have any shapeshifter card in your team, be on the lookout for those cards soon. And I would try to say, get them in your, in your club sooner rather than later, especially if they're not getting a tots, right? If they're going to get a team of the season or you, they have played a good enough year so far to possibly get a tots card, then you might want to be a little bit more careful with them. But with these position changes, a guy like a Ribery, Ribery is going to explode, right? That's the only special card of Ribery he's going to get. He's not going to get a tots. Richarlison, I don't think he's going to get a tots. Berlin Mendy, probably not. It's a position change card. Vinicius, probably not. Um, so if you guys want these cards for your teams, I think in the next 24 hours is probably going to be uh, one of the lowest times on the market. And again, as we looked at some of these, uh, these graphs, right? A lot of these cards right at the beginning, right before team of the season starts is kind of that low point. And then after that, as the market just builds and people are on the game, it's hype. There's a ton of coins that are being pumped onto the game. Um, the This stuff just rises because it's out of packs. It's very desirable. People want to use these cards in their teams. Let's look at Awar. He got a Tots as well, but I want to see what happens to this future stars. Um, okay, he just kept dropping because he got a Tots. Yeah, so he, he just kept dropping. It's looking pretty bad for my examples right now. But Arthur didn't get a Tots, and this was a card that people used last year. Boom, here we go. Here's a rise, right? Arthur goes back up. So it kind of depends on the card. But again, that's why I focus on the meta stuff, right? That's why I was talking Mbappe. That's why I was talking Ben Yedder. If you want to buy any cards like that, uh, or out of packs icons as well, um, you know, a guy like Eusebio, this guy was, believe it or not, 3.7 million this morning when that crazy, crazy low panic sell. I did not think I was going to see this guy under 4 mil. He was just 4.1. Uh, earlier today when I was looking at him. So again, just look for those hours of a like a 10 or 20% drop on these cards today on Sunday because this is like your last chance, in my opinion, uh, for most of these meta specials, especially if it's a super, super, super meta card. I think from here, it does go up into the next week and into community team this season. That's just my opinion. So I would not be, uh, I would not say it's a bad idea right now if you're looking to buy some of those cards. Uh, if it's, especially if it's an out of packs inform, I would give you the thumbs up on an out of packs inform, and maybe a guy like Ronaldo, maybe a Messi, maybe an Mbappe, because there's so many guys that want to buy them, and so many people that have already sold them. So again, look on the market, look for those undercuts, look for those price fluctuations, and I think that sooner rather than later might be some of your buy time on the out of packs cards, especially if it is like an end game quality card, and it's gonna be. In your team i like the foot birthdays i like the possibility of them rising because we've seen them be so high already with a lot of hype in this game with the weak foot upgrades i think that's going to be on people's minds as we head out of this promo uh douglas costa is like 400k 418k right now van dyke is 975 pogba is 17 so some of these guys are really really cheap and i do think they're going to rebound so uh if you're still scared though and you don't think they're gonna rise and you want to hold it out just in case you never know what EA is going to do, right? That's why it's so hard to pinpoint a buy time for some of these. I'm telling you to go in early, um, but it's it's not always the easiest because we don't know what, what EA is going to come out with, right? And that's the biggest caveat with this. You could buy your cards today, right? Let's say you want to buy Bale. You could go get yourself a Gareth Bale at a, a very reasonable price at like 1.1 million coins. Or like, let's say you get him on an undercut for 1.05 for this Gareth Bale. And then all of a sudden EA sports drops something crazy with this promo and you know, something like that. And boom, now these cards are down more and you lost some coins because of it. It's there's always risk with investing and with buying cards in this game. But for most of the cards that are out of pack specials, I think they're going to continue to rise. So watch today for the sell off, watch for those dips, watch for those, you know, surges down in price. If we see one of those again today, that could be an opportunity for you to pick up some cards if you've planned a team that you want to put together and stuff like that. Again, I'm going to be looking at a lot of ways to trade in this next week with videos, looking at making coins in this game and what happens during team of the season, when to buy TOTS cards. Because last year, the way they had the setup with the guaranteed team of the season SBCs, buying the TOTS cards on like Monday or Tuesday was instant profit by Thursday. Seriously, uh, like big margins because so many people want to use team of the season cards when they come out, they're going to be very tradable, very flippable. So if you want to have some coins ready for that too, 
just be playing to, be, to make some coins during team of the season as well. So I know this market is confusing. I know it's hard, but my feeling is if you buy in the next couple days, you're going to be sitting pretty in a couple of weeks. If it's a meta card, if it's going to be used by a lot of people and it's hyped on this game, good nation, good league, um, and just meta, right? Like Conte team of the year. I expect him to do very well this year, probably not getting a team of the season. Uh, but one of like, if you think of a CDM in FIFA with a meta this year, Conte is your guy. That 97 Conte is the best player I've used this year. So that's the kind of card on a high tier level that I think would rebound a lot as well. Scan the market. Sorry, I hit the mic there. Scan the market. There's tons of cards. Even if you're on a lower budget, if you build a team that could appreciate in value at that lower level, guys going from 100K uh, that were 200K once, now they're 100K now, they could easily be 150K in the next two weeks, right? A big rise like that, I would say, is not unprecedented for this next couple of weeks. So that's me talking about the market today. Again, don't panic. If you're losing coins, you're with all of us, all right? If you haven't sold yet, maybe you just ride it out. But if you're looking to buy, which I think most of you guys are, um, watch the market today. Watch for those undercuts. And don't be afraid to spend those coins because you're never going to make coins if you don't spend coins. That's my number one advice for you as somebody who's trying to trade or just to get a good buy price on your team. If you don't take the risk, you're never going to have the opportunity to make coins. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash your thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.